nobody's there. Body to body. Like yeah, that's, that's what it was like. And everyone was trying to get a grip on the pole, but there wasn't enough hand room. So we were like fighting over hand. Yeah. And fighting like, over hand if you accidentally touched somebody's hand, they looked at you like you were like a Satanist. Yeah, they can't believe you did this. <laughs> bought our Aerolink Express tickets and now we're waiting 35 minutes for our bus. It's 4 a.m. It's 4.30. 4.30 in the morning. Woo. It's not raining yet. Got here early. <laughs> yeah. Does that say crisps? Crisps, Kai. Crispy. Crisps. And my favorite, the Aerobar. <laughs> it's a, it's a so, update, we are the only ones on this bus, because it's 5 a.m. Hi. I'm, I'm here too. It's so cold. It's cold. It's really cold. It's 5 a.m., we're taking the 747 to Stevens, oh, 57, to Stevens Green. Dublin Airport. Airlink is right over there. That's our airplane. And there's Kyle. Looking suave as heck. <laughs> we found an all organic McDonald's here on Grafton Street. Kyle got a toasty. I got a double bacon McMuffin. Free range eggs. And this is like the fanciest McDonald's. Effort. So we just woke up. Um, we got to our hotel at like twelve forty ish. And we got in the bed and we were like, oh, we're just going to take a little nap and then we'll go do something. It's like 9.20, <laughs> so we slept like eight hours. Um, so I got up and took a shower and now Kyle's in the shower. And I'm pretty sure we're either staying in or we're going to wait a bit and then go and eat something. Because I'm, I'm a little bit hungry. I think I'll be really hungry in an hour. But also my hair is wet and I'm not sure if I want to go outside. <laughs> we'll see. So it's about 9.30 in the morning. Um, yesterday we went out to get, was it, I guess dinner. We slept from 
about 1 o'clock until 9 p.m. last night. So we went to go get dinner and like the normal me, I tripped on cobblestone and I sprained my ankle again. But this is the left ankle this time. So I feel like the tattoo on my right ankle helped my right ankle, but obviously not my left. <laughs> so I did sprain my ankle. We went back to the hotel and I propped it up overnight thinking it would get better. This morning, it's still busted. I can't really stand that much. I'm actually having my leg lifted up like a flamingo right now. <laughs> so Kyle actually walked to the pharmacy. He's at the pharmacy right now. He's giving me an ankle brace because I still want to adventure and I don't care about this ankle. I'm gonna enjoy Ireland right now. it twice. Yeah, but once was earlier today. Oh. Eddie Rockets? Yeah. It's the same as Johnny Rockets, but um, they couldn't use the phrase Johnny Rockets. Want to tell them why, Kat? It's because it's an innuendo. For what? For condoms. Johnny Rockets means condoms well, in the UK. Johnny's does. Johnny's does. So Johnny Rockets would be like Rocket 69. <laughs> <laughs> This pizza place this morning. It's called Credo. It was really, really delicious. You got an American pizza, which wasn't quite what you were expecting. An American pizza in Ireland is exactly that. American. Well, not quite. It was, it was pepperoni, but it also had red peppers like embedded in the sauce. So I had spicy lips <laughs> and I had to down a lot of water. But it was really good pizza. And I got this tuna and anchovies anchovies pizza that was it was good it was, i never heard of it before what was it called uh oh it was called it was marinara. called marinara but it <laughs> clearly was not marinara it was not, i mean they used the marinara for the sauce but it wasn't what you'd think of for sure yeah, that's a street all right say goodbye for the night <laughs> just walked back out to make this video. <laughs> So today's plan is to go see the Leprechaun Museum. Yay! Basically it's a museum where everything looks giant and uh, you can take a lot of pictures with like chairs that are like 12 feet tall and couches that are just huge and stuff like that. And it's one of the national museums, uh, which means it's free. Yay! There's also a couple other national museums that are nearby, um, like the Decorative Arts Museum, which also has military weapons, which would be really cool to see. And then the plan is to try a box D today. That's basically a potato pancake. So it's kind of like a mashed potato ball. And then they, I want to say deep fry, but it's not deep fry. They bake it so that the outside's kind of like a french fry. And then the inside is like mashed potato. And there's this place called Gallagher's boxy house that I looked up before we came and they have a box tea that's filled with chili, cheese, chives, and sour cream which just sounds like heaven to me. So hopefully we'll try that for lunch slash dinner. We got up at like six in the morning today so we ate breakfast and that means I'm hungry now. It's about 8 30 so we'll probably grab a snack at the grocery store on our way. We're gonna cross Hay Penny Bridge too 
So that's the plan today. We'll see how long we hang out. But these last couple days we've been uh, going in at about 3 p.m., 4 p.m. So we'll see. Maybe we'll be able to stay out a little bit later today. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, we're at Stevens Green. We're walking a little bit at Stevens Green. Look at Stevens this. House. That's not Stevens House. <laughs> Yeah, we can show you the map. This place is huge. So we're here. We're in this corner. And we gotta go here. <laughs> memorial. The famine memorial. Yeah. There's so many memorials. Playground! Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, the plan today we found out that the Leprechaun Museum costs like 15 euro a person. It costs like a pot of gold. It's not fair. Uh, so we can't do that. So our plan is to go to the National Archaeology Museum and the National History Museum and then look at the art galleries around there because they're all free, hopefully. <laughs> and then the plan is to get some really good food. Or, or try. Try to. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so what are we what are you what are you doing here? <laughs> we're gonna walk a maze. Well you're gonna walk a maze. Uh -oh. And we're gonna get to the sundial in the middle, so let's go let's see what you got. Let's Ready? show your maze skills. Tell them where we're at, Ty. Oh, we're in Ireland. No, like what's the park? We're at a Stevens Green Park for Saint Stephen Green, who I don't don't know about his patron saint of uh, maze bushes. I, I feel like just going the wrong way, but you know. So I think uh, when we do get to the middle, we'll be able to figure out what time it is, maybe. I'm coming back around. All right, first lap. <laughs> Doing great. Making good time. I don't think that's the entrance. Oh, is, did she solve it? Is it? Is there a path all the way? Is she gonna make it in time? Who knows? Join us next time. Yeah. Well, just kidding. She made it. All right, what time is it? There's no sun. birthday drink early because tomorrow on his birthday it's Sunday and restaurants in Dublin don't serve alcohol on Sundays. Yeah, most of them are closed. So we got him some simply a cider which apparently has like a distinct taste of Granny Smith apples. Ready? Go. Does it taste like Granny Smith apple or does it taste like beer? I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> We're back. So today we ended up, we went to the National Natural History Museum, which was really cool. They had a bunch of dead birds. So they jokingly call that museum the Dead Zoo, which is pretty funny. It's basically three stories in this old Victorian like mansion type thing and it has a bunch of taxidermy and tells you um, who caught it, uh, what year they caught it, and the species, which is pretty cool and interesting. So we did that. And then we went to the National Art Gallery, which was really pretty. Uh, I took quite a few pictures there. And then we went to lunch and I got this freaking amazing potato dish. It was potatoes and uh, American dressing, which is ranch. And um, it also had bacon and chives and sour cream. It was really, really good and it was hot and amazing. And then we went to the National Archaeology Museum. Um, something I'm really jealous of in Ireland is that all national museums are free and it makes me really upset because I wish that we had that sort of thing in the States, but we don't, so jealous. Um, and then Kyle and I went 
to the store afterwards and got a few things because his birthday is tomorrow but his birthday is also on a Sunday and here in Ireland they're super Catholic so all the pubs and restaurants are closed on Sundays um, so we bought some really good like yogurt and some vodka sauce and some pasta um, for his birthday and some bread um, so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow and I do want to point out I got my kinder egg Yes. so I always get a kinder egg every time I go to Europe um, because they're illegal in the States <laughs> so I like to get them and get my toy oh wow ama amazing amazing Get it to focus. <laughs> Amazing. It's angry eyes. She does look really mad. Yeah. Yay! Hey. What do you say? Hey, are you excited? Happy? I'm happy. And it tells you how to put it together. <gasps> she has a cape. Wow. So snap. Wait, how does this? Okay, well, you have fun playing with that. Here we go. There we go. There we got it all together. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, Dublin Castle. Wow. We're exploring. It's the beautiful. We found the tax museum. Oh, yeah, we found the tax museum and uh, they had... They had stamps and alcohol that they took at people trying to sneak it across the borders. They had they had drugs that have been snuck into like a teddy bear. <laughs> they had like and improvised the teddy bear was drugs. like decapitated and then it had like used needles in display and it was like these were used by drug dealers trying to get drugs, smuggle drugs into Ireland. And I was like, wow. Yeah, this is the castle. That's where they keep the the royalty. Be too quiet. Why? Where they keep the royalty. Yeah, they have to live here. Except there's not really Irish royalty since that's, we're independent. That's a sweet joke. This is where the president lives. I don't know if that's true. I don't know, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't think that's true. It's actually. basically office buildings. Basically. I don't know. I think it's a landmark. Look, it's the president's security guard. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Sorry we haven't filmed for the last couple of days. Both of us got injured. Kyle is about to try his very first Guinness. What do you think? Something. Do you like it? I don't know. to cross a penny bridge hey penny bridge it's made entirely of pennies house is made all entirely of pennies i'm pretty sure it's made out of metal well, they melted down the pennies <laughs> they melted down the pennies. yeah and then they formed it into a bridge you learn your history yeah i gotta learn my history These are like Winchester stairs. There's our view on the Haypenny Bridge. I am. Um, look at that reflection. There's I love water. you. I was bound to do you. it. I guess. Yeah, but don't you drink it? Last day here, I bought Jaffa cakes. I had to do it. For heading back to the airport. Yeah, we were on our way to the bus stop. That'll lead to take us to the airport. I'm only to wait for a half hour. And the guy who did our check out at the hotel was drunk. <laughs> I didn't really notice it. I thought he just had a slur. Uh, yeah, we could hardly understand him because he was Irish and drunk or Italian, maybe. He was telling to us. Tell. He was like, "Do you want it? Do you want to get a taxi?" And we were like, "A what? A taxi?" And we were like, "And we got and we quiet. We looked at we each looked other quiet for a second, like silent. And the cow was like, "A what?" And he goes, "A taxi." And Kyle and I were just like, a taxi? And he was like, yeah. He was like all mad about it. And we're like, okay, well, 
<laughs> no. Yeah, you could you could smell the alcohol on him as soon as he opened the door. I was just like, oh, this this guy's having a having an office party. I guess. Have a fun time. Yeah. So it's 6 a.m. The streets are completely empty. Yeah, no one gets up early for work here. There's no such thing as commute traffic, which is pretty awesome. But I'm worried because last time when we came here, we were the only ones on the bus. I feel like we annoyed the bus guy because he had to pick up two people for his whole trip. And there's no one on the street. It's better than picking up no one, right? Well, I mean, you don't even have to stop if you're not picking up anybody. The thing's just driving in a circle all day. Yeah. He can play his jams. Now he can't play his jams. I don't think bus drivers play their jams. I would if I was a bus driver. I'm just saying. Oh! One thing, when we were at the airport the first time, there was a woman who looked like exactly like mom. Oh yeah. And she was leaning up against the pole and she was wearing like a fur jacket and Kyle and I swore that mom had like decided to follow us on our trip. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked exactly like mom, like the same haircut, same body type, same clothing style and everything. So I'm glad mom didn't follow us to Ireland. Anything you want to say to the camera? No, see you, see you guys later. So our plane leaves at 10-ish, and we're trying to get back in the swing of how the time works. The plan is to stay awake until we get on the flight from New York to Oakland. So that's about a good 16-ish hours away. It's, they're, they're like little frayed jeans, but he's really short, <laughs> so. I mean, they're shorts, but they look like jeans because he's short. We're playing the scribble game. Oh my god, he doesn't have a shirt on. Is it Robert? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> what are you eating? Um, an aeronautical bar.